Hey everybody, and uh, thanks for uh, tuning in to my YouTube channel, and for all of those that have been uh, joined the channel, I really appreciate that, and I'm sorry it's been so long since we've uh, done a video here. So finally we're back in the air after uh, uh, quarantining for COVID and really hot weather through the summer and also smoky weather here in the fall. It's been just pretty miserable flying in the San Joaquin Valley. The other thing was the airplane was in for uh, new toys. GTN 650 now uh, adorning the uh, panel and I know most of you know about the 650. There's lots of uh, YouTube videos on that. But in addition to that, the GI-275. It's a little confusing. Garmin calls it an F MFI, multifunction instrument, but one of the configurations you can use is an MFD, multifunction display. So uh, I know that can get a little bit confusing. So I just wanted to go through the different uh, screens here on the GI-275 MFD and uh, kind of explain why I thought it was a nice addition to the GTN 650. Here is the uh, the map screen as you can see pretty much just like the 650 there's the map screen there it's in the auto range it's ranged way out And we can change the range here on the uh, GI-275. goes into the north up mode when you get far enough out because it figures you're wanting to kind of look at your entire route on the north up mode. So there's the uh, standard map following the magenta line. You can switch it over to the HSI mode. I uh, really don't know why you'd want to do that. I've got dual G5s, but that's a nice standby. Going to the next page, it combines HSI and the map, pulling information from the 650 as far as the uh, route, flight plan, and uh, current position. One more click over. This is a nice display. It's completely uh, configurable to, the, to whatever you'd like it to say. We're heading for... Uh, Los Banas Airport right now. We're 86 miles from it, uh, southeast of Los Banas. All of these fields you can uh, make whatever you want. I've got ETA and ETE to destination. The current time, our ground speed, we're kind of loafing here at 130 knots, got the power back to uh, 60%. And I just threw the uh, minimum safe altitude and your uh, ge what they call geometric sea level altitude, which is based off the GPS. So, quick way to get the uh, you know quick oh what's what's the minimum safe altitude here where we are? I put it on that screen. Again, there's lots of other things you can put on there if you want. Here's the main reason why I thought it would be a, a nice addition to the panel. Instead of uh, having the uh, 650 on the traffic display. We've got a nice traffic display right here. That's kind of what I intend to leave it on most of the time. Let's see if we back out a bit here. There we see a couple airplanes quite a ways away from us. And if you touch it, right up at the top it tells us that's November 9658 Kilo, a light aircraft, and it gives you all the, uh, the information for what that airplane's doing. Pretty amazing. One more uh, over to the uh, weather screen. And we're probably, whoops. Maybe too far away. Oh, there we go. You can see uh, Navy China Lake right ahead of us. They're VFR. They're in little blue tag. Fresno up here. And if you touch it, hit info. Yeah, well, I actually, I actually hit Bakersfield there, but there's the uh, the latest weather for Bakersfield. So again, you can pull up weather right here, not have to go over to the the uh, 650 screen. We'll go back. Terrain. Not really 
actually a uh, factor for us. If we back way out, we can see the Sierra Nevada mountains way over here on the, the right side. Now here's a cool feature. The CDI, obviously it's showing our uh, GPS. We're centered up. letting the autopilot track it. But let's say we were doing a VR approach and of course have, we have to monitor the VOR uh, raw data to be legal all I have to do is set the VOR frequency that I want to use over here in this case I've got Bakersfield or uh, Shafter VOR and I'll just push CDI now even though we're navigating by GPS and we just have one GPS navigator, the GTN 650. I can look at a crossing radial. Or, if we're tracking to or from a VOR, I can put it in here and get raw data. So there you go. That's the basic screens for the uh, GI-275. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And uh, really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. And have a great day.